Hey guys, Chucky here bringing you guys a new video. I know I haven't been around for a long, long while, but uh, the new Sun and Moon games are out, so I figure I'm going to start doing some more videos again. Um, here I am doing Showdown. I don't really like to do Showdown, but it's been slow going on breeding and various other things. Plus, I want to test teams before I actually make them, so I'm not wasting a lot of time. So, um, yeah, I've been doing it on here, and I figure as I'm doing it on here, I can just show you guys some of the teams that I'm trying out, just having some fun, doing a bunch of different things. So, uh, this team today, uh, well, you'll see the last video that I brought you guys, and that was just some fun poison team that I was using. That It's not very good, but it's fun to use, and it's just something different that nobody's ready for, so... It was pretty fun to use, but here I am using a more realistic team, something that I would enjoy using and something that I think is good against the meta at the current time. Um, of course, the London um, the London tournament hasn't happened yet, which is this weekend, um, and that's going to be the big tournament, tournament that decides what the meta is going to look like in the near future. So after that, I'll start building a legitimate team and see where we can go from that. But let further ado, let's get to this team. So I do have Muck as my main Pokemon. I bring him pretty much every battle. The things that he's good against are like <laughs> pretty much everything. Um, of course, he has a Black Sludge on him just to heal up a little bit of HP in between rounds. And he has Power of Alchemy, which allows him to steal any of the abilities of any of the Pokemon on his team when they die. So that is a really, really solid ability. It allows him to get things like Intimidate, you know, um, Inner Doubt, um, Corrosion. Corrosion is pretty interesting too because then you can Poison Jab Steel type. So um, just overall, he's just a really, really good um, Pokemon. And he has solid moves like Poison Jab, which pretty much one-shots all the Tapus uh, unless they invest in defense. And uh, that's very unlikely unless they're using um, the Water one because the Water one's pretty bulky, but... Other than that, all the other ones pretty much die, so it's uh, fun watching them go down. Of course, Protect. We have Shadow Sneak just to get that little bit last damage. And, of course, Knock Off because now he is also Dark. So you do get that Stab Knock Off, which is going to do a ton of damage against a lot of the Pokemon in the meta, like Gyarados and uh, Salamence, stuff like that. It does just an absolute ton of damage. Um, so we're going 172 HP, 252 Adamant, and uh, 84 Defense just to give him a little bit more bulk. Uh, I didn't do any calcs to see if he survives specific things. He pretty much dies to Earthquake. There are ways around that because you can use Power of Alchemy. As you'll see in some of my matches that I try to use it in a specific way, but it just doesn't end up working. You can give him um, Levitate through Power of Alchemy, uh, Destiny Bond Z on Haunter, which I was using for a little while, that I switched to Tapu Koko just for a little bit more coverage. And Tapu Koko is the fastest Pokemon. Uh, this team is pretty slow and fast at the same time, so you can do quite a lot of things. The next Pokemon is going to be Garchomp with Choice Scarf. This allows you to outspeed the Tapus, get last damage, do that Poison Jab on them, and just uh, absolutely destroy them. You're going Adamant since you're using the Choice Scarf. This meta is pretty slow, so you don't need jolly choice scarf on uh garchomp anymore and with the 252 plus uh he has 200 uh base attack plus he is just doing a ton of damage with either poison jam and earthquake rock slide still very viable and dragon claw so that is that then we're gonna go gyarados we're gonna go jolly gyarados with a uh, life orb he is going to be our dragon dance protect waterfall ice fang uh he doesn't get too many good moves and they nerfed Ice Fang by 10 damage but it now has a chance to either flinch or freeze and uh, along with Waterfall you have two chances to flinch Pokemon and if you're going to be faster than them then you are going to be all set. Uh, he is probably the best Intimidator besides Salamence in the format right now and he's pretty bulky he can take a shot or two and still live um, next we got Pu Pukamuku, I think that's how you say his name, I can never remember, but uh, he is pretty good. Of course we have Pain Split, Protect, Taunt, Toxic, and he has Innards Out, so that means if he dies, he does that much damage to the Pokemon that killed him. So if you switch him into a Lightning Bolt or Thunder from a Coco or something like that, they're pretty much going to be dead, or they're going to be in range for a Shadow Sneak, which is absolutely perfect, so you can just get some good plays from going to Gyarados to him. 
um, severely damage them, switch back in Gyarados, get a second Intimidate, go for the Shadow Sneak and Dragon Dance, and you will be uh, pretty much all set. Uh, he's more for Sacrificial than anything else, and when he does die, he does give Muck his ability, so that is pretty good. These Calcs are not for anything specific. Uh, I'd rather him take some physical attacks and die to the special mons because uh, my team is pretty weak against a lot of the special mons, so... That's why we're doing that. And then we get Salazzle, who is just a very, very solid Pokemon. He's my answer to Steel. And once again, he can give his Corrosion to Muck and allow Muck to hit um, Steel types. So that is really good. He also gets access to Will-O-Wisp, which is going to decrease the damage from physical attackers. And he is actually really fast. I'm going Modest on him just to get that little bit extra damage against the Tapus. But uh, it's only because his speed, given him um, Timid, doesn't outspeed you know, Coco, or a Choice Scarf um, Lele, so it's not really worth doing, and I uh, have the Focus Sash on there anyway, so I will be able to get off an attack usually. And then, of course, we have Coco, who is going to not have IVs in his attack for some reason, um, <laughs> but he's Chali, max attack, max speed, uh, a little bit of HP. That's funny that I didn't have that, and I still used him in a match. Uh, <laughs> I did it dope. Alright, so he's going to have Brave Bird, Wild Charge, U-Turn, Quick Attack with Assault Vest. So he's just going to be pretty bulky with the Special Defense only being 75. That gives him a little bit more survivability. He has pretty good HP. I mean, 70. It's, it's obviously not the best, but his attack and his speed are really good. So you want to take advantage of those. Just get one-shot kills with the Wild Charge. Go for a U-Turn, switch into something else. And uh, be able to just win games that way. So we'll go to them the first game here. I'm going to lead with the Monk Gyarados here, and he's going to go with King Banana and his Gengar. Um, so, Muck's not the fastest Pokemon. He's going to go right and burn the Gyarados. I figured this knockoff would kill, but it actually does not. I'm going to knock off his me Mental Herb, and he is going to get Trick Room up. I'm perfectly fine. He goes with a Psychic onto the Muck, not realizing that he is also dark, so he can't do anything about that. I'm going to be able to knock off and kill the... Um, the Gengar before he could do anything. That was a safe play. Even if he had protected, I knew I was going to be able to kill his his Gorilla there. He goes out with both Bulu and with the number one Pokemon in the format right now, which is Torkoal. I'm surprised he did not just go with the Eruption there. I'm going to be able to get off the Ice Fang. Just do Ice Fang, do a little bit of chip damage, but the burn's going to start killing me. I am going to go out with Garchomp and go out with Salazzle. Uh, he does protect, so this is a free switch in. He attacks with Gar to, into Garchomp, which he is going to take some damage and go down in both attack and defense there. So I'm going to protect uh, Sazzle because I figure he's going to go with that. Trick Room is on its last turn. He is going to rock throw. I was hoping he was going to kill Garchomp there, but he does survive. I do flinch, but now that's going to allow me to go to the Poison Jab onto the Bulu, which is absolutely going to destroy him and get a Sludge Bomb off. And he's just going to go with another eruption, killing the Garchomp. But, I mean, what is he going to do with just a Torkoal left? So he does forfeit. Uh, the next battle... I forgot to turn the music on. Uh, I thought I turned it off on all of them. But he's going to go Orangu and Snorlax. I'm going to go with Muck and Garchomp. I'm just going to double up into the Orangu because uh, the last time <laughs> the, the knockoff did not kill. Uh, and it was good because he did have Focus Sash, so I was able to get through that Focus Sash. He does Belly Drum with Snorlax, though it's not Z-Move Belly Drum. He is going to be at 75%. Uh, I'm going to get Dragon Claw off on Salamence. I figure I can lose the Garchomp here safely and not really worry too much. Um, I do get the Rough Skin, so if anything does attack me. He goes with the Earthquake on Snorlax. Of course, doesn't affect me. I can bring out the Gyarados here. And then switch into the Haunter. Uh, he's going to aerial his Haunter, which is going to kill it, which is I'm, I'm perfectly fine with. Which means I can go with the Dragon Dance. And he's just going to go with another Earthquake. I'm going to go back out with Muck. I figure Muck is going to be uh, fast than Snorlax. I almost killed the Snorlax. He goes with the Draco Meteor. I'm perfectly fine. I, I, the Salamence could not hurt me, and it was just going to kill itself. So I just doubled up into the Snorlax. Was able to take him out. He comes out with the Tauros. Not even Intimidate Tauros, so no, I'm not sure what he was doing with it. I do get the flinch on there, and then the knockoff will take out the Tauros and win us the match. Uh, this next game, he goes out with, I don't even know how to say that name, and Coco. I got Muck, and I got Haunter. Here, I wanted to go <laughs> with the uh, the strats of the Z-Move, but Coco is too strong. He's going to go with the Power Gem. He's going to uh, show that he has Life Orb, and that 
poison jab. That just shows the power of it right there. Killing Coco's. He goes out with Cortana, which I, I then do go with the Z move. Um, but he is faster than me and is able to take me out. He's going to get that special attack boost. And I do get Levitate, so I know I can safely go out with Garchomp now and just Earthquake. Which is super effective against uh, pretty much both of these Pokemon. I mean, he can't really do anything. He goes with the Sacred Sword. I just go with the knockoff. Knockoff's able to kill him. He has no defense, so, I mean, there's not much he can do. He does not reveal his last Pokemon, and I will win that one. This one, the music also is not off, so sorry for that. He goes out with Finny in uh, Celestiala, and I'm just going to protect my Shazzle. And he protects his Celestia, which I figured was going to happen, so I went with the Poison Jab on the Finny, and I'm almost going to kill it. And I just go with the Shadow Sneak, and it's alive with one life. Uh, Shazzle's going to go down to 1 HP also, and I get that. And he also goes down to 1 HP. So I'm sitting here, like, really? Both of them down to 1 HP? So now the mind games come in. What is he going to protect with? Is he going to switch? He does switch into the Nine Tails, which kind of stinks because uh, I do not uh, double up into that. I go for the Celesteela because I thought he would switch that out instead and take a Protect on the... Uh, Finny, but I did have the ability to hit the Finny, so uh, I just go out with Haunter, and I do go with the I go with the Protect and the Z move, but he tried to go for the double Protect, so I could have actually killed it. Um, so I get the Z Destiny Bond off, doesn't do anything, and I'm gonna be faster than both of these Pokemon, so it's not gonna really matter. Um, the Celesteela is going to just stay at its life, and I'm just gonna Shadow Ball it to kill it. Uh, he's going to go with the Wood Hammer. I do resist that, and it still does that much uh, damage, but the Poison Jab cannot be stopped, so he's going to go down there. going to take some more Hail damage, but I'm perfectly fine in this situation. And he's going to come out with Nine Tails and Finny, and I am okay with that. I can protect the Muck and let the Hunter die, bring it in my Garchomp. Uh, and my Garchomp's going to allow me to kill this Nine Tails, uh, once again, because it is Choice Scarfed. I can just go with the safe shadow sneak, put it at 50, and do the rest of the damage there. So, able to take him out pretty easily. Music off. There we go. Um, and I'm going to leave with the Muck Gyarados in this one. And he's going to come out with the Whimsicott and Gyarados. I'm going to get that Intimidate, and he's going to get it back. Uh, he's going to go with Tailwind, which I figured, so I'm going to go for the Dragon Dance just to get off that. But he also goes for the Dragon Dance. And I'm going to put uh, Whimsicott down to its Focus Sash. And I'm going to get the poison, so I'm going to be able to take it out with having to, without having to Shadow Sneak it. He is going to go with the Zerkatry, so I perfectly brought the uh, Puku Muku for it. And he's going to Thunderbolt one-shotting it, which is almost going to kill him. I'm going to get Innards out onto my Muck, which So now if he kills my Muck, he'll do that much damage back to himself. And this Gyarados is super bulky, but I am going to get another Intimidate off on it. I'm going to be able to Shadow Sneak to kill the Zerkatry, because I know it's pretty weak. I knew he was going to go for another Dragon Dance, so so did I. Um, I figure I'll be ahead each time we do it. Um, I'm going to just protect my Muck here, and he's going to go for the Waterfall and the Freeze Dry. I wasn't expecting the Freeze Dry. I was, usually they run Ice Beam and Blizzard. Um, so I'm going to go with the Salazzle here. I'm going to protect the Salazzle, and he's going to protect Nine Tails. He's going to go for the Waterfall on the Salazzle, which I figured, so I went with Knock Off. Luckily, knocking off is Citrus Berry. He is going to go down into Dangerous Life. I know I still cannot kill it with a single move. Uh, unfortunately, Salazzle is going to go down there. The Blizzard, I take actually very well. And I'm able to get the Poison Jab off, which does one-shot the Nine Tails. As he is going to keep going down with his life on Gyarados, thanks to the Hail. I know there's one more turn. He does go with the Earthquake. But now or never is my chance to kill him with the Shadow Sneak. And I get the crit. Not sure if the crit actually mattered, but uh, I, I'm happy I got it. And then the last one we have here. Turn the music off. Oh, switch sides. And he's going to start with the Lucario and Gyarados. Of course, I got the Muck, and I'm going with the Garchomp. Um, I figured that he would go out with the Loa Marowak, but he did not. So I'm going to be able to switch the Muck. He's going to go with the Aura Sphere, which did way too much damage, and the Ice Fang on him. And I'm just going to get knocked off onto the Gyarados, which gets rid of its leftovers. I can protect Gyarados here. He protects his Gyarados, and he goes with another Aura Sphere, as I do go for the Poison Jab on the Gyarados, figuring he might go with that and protect the Lucario. I can go with the Tapu Koko here, 
and go for the waterfall and the waterfall did a lot of damage that was not even plus one Gyarados he is going to go for the taunt though on the Coco which I'm perfectly fine with and he does switch in the Marowak um, taking that lightning rod calling that correctly but I do have Gyarados and <laughs> that just shows the power of life orb Gyarados right there killing the Marowak in one hit um, he's going to bring out the Lele and I can bring out the Mach I figured he was going to go with the Lele um, I go with the Garchomp because I did not want to take a Psychic because it would kill me. And I can kill the Lele in one hit with a in, um, with a Poison Jab. So, And even if I didn't, I get Shadow Sneak, which is also uh, super effective. So now I can go back out with Coco and go with the Shadow Sneak and the Wild Charge. And there's nothing he can do. So that is going to be game there. And yeah, so... Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys rate, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys later.